What's up adventure travelers? The day has arrived after almost three weeks of being off the bike. It's time to get my little 150 from the bike rental place and head north to Hajiang. The ride's called the Hajiang Loop and you can do it in any, anywhere from, I think it's three to seven days. So I'll try and knock it off in about three or four before heading back south down to Da Nang and Saigon. Anyway, Let's get to the rental place and see if I can get this massive duffel bag. That one there. Onto the back of the little 150. I've got to say, it's a little bit strange having all this motorcycle gear on. After three weeks, the English have a colloquialism for clothes. It's called clobber and uh, never a truer word for motorcycle gear. It's heavy, it's bulky, and you feel like you're clobbering around. So let's clob it to the bike shop, get on the 150. Okay, I am here at the bike place. Just spent the last hour or so setting up the bike signing the paperwork, doing all that. My worries, as most worries in the world were unfounded. The luggage is sitting quite nicely on the back of the bike. There you can see. Yep, okay. I know it looks fairly big and it is fairly big, but it's sitting down nice and snug. I've got some excellent straps that I bought in Australia and should be fine guy behind me <laughs> all these trendy guys in the in the cafe next to the bike shop they're wearing short pajamas and uh, anyway that's the bike now uh, this guy's gonna jump on it and ride away and hey so that's the, that's the setup New Zealand yeah I love you New Zealand good man all right let's get on the road before I waste any more of the day Alrighty, I am in the Hoi An traffic, Hoi An, Hanoi, it's a pretty grey day, looks like it's going to hoof down with rain but it's probably not, it's just cloudy in these Asian cities, everyone drives pretty slow by the looks of it, so just go with the flow. Well, it didn't take long for me to take a wrong turn. Now I'm on some bridge. I'm just glad I got in the bike lane and not the, the wrong car lane. There are certain lanes that cars aren't allowed to go. And uh, anyway, looks like there's a roundabout up ahead that I can turn around and come back to. So you live and learn. I don't know if it's overcast or smoggy but Hanoi is one oh man look at all those boats up there Hanoi is one big dirty noisy place the map said four and a half hours and uh, if I keep taking turns like this it's going to take me 14 and a half hours no, there's a woman just pulled over on the side. Like some ships down there, boats down there. This one long ridge and I've got to come back on it. Look at those dwellings there. Pretty nasty. Oh yeah. No, it's not. It's not good. Bit of construction going on here. Might be a train line. I've been on the bike for about 20 minutes and the drive time has gone from 4 hours 35 to 4 hours 30. So something's up. Or maybe it just seems like I've been on the bike longer than I actually have. But the city doesn't seem to be getting any less dense 
but then it is a city of 8 to 10 million people depending on which Google page you're looking at the traffic's thinned out a bit although there are still some massive buildings up ahead so we'll just see how we go okay I'm definitely on the outskirts of Hanoi now and uh, oh shit Google Maps has just turned itself off Okay, Google Maps is up and running again. Four hours to destination. Let's hope I'm going in the right direction. Jesus! Whoa. Look at this little town. Don't hit the oncoming car. Don't hit the guy in front of you. Couple of important rules. Okay, well according to Google I'm still going in the right direction. So I'm out of the out of the rice paddies into the town. Oh wow. Look at that river. We're definitely heading out into the countryside now. That's pretty interesting, looks like a dry river. Cattle down there. Wonder if it dried up on its own accord. Or whether the river was diverted. There was a dam past a small dam up the road. So maybe that was all part of it. Okay, getting pretty rural now. The road's getting narrower. narrower. And uh, you can see those hills in front of us. So, what the hell is this guy doing? He's trying to take off. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some rice paddies. Holy cow. This is rural Vietnam. This is what we signed up for. Okay, into the tar seal for a bit. Still two and a half hours to go. So, I'm not even halfway really, as you can see. Even the uh, even the townships look like they're going to be smaller from here on in. So I've just filled up with gas, and it'll be interesting to see what the final destination is like. He's a big boy. Here we go. Don't freak them out. Nice and slow. Okay, well it's technically raining. Not very heavy, but I, I should really pull over and put my at least my jacket on. As you can see, we're getting higher into the hills and uh, I'm still a good hour and a quarter away from my destination so I'm going to pull over here not a bad place to pull over to put your raincoat on as I said it's not raining heavily but it's, uh, it's misty you can see we're on the uh, incline heading into the hills I don't know how, how high up we're going but um, 
I can't say I'm having tons of fun because it feels like I've just been sent off into the wilderness but it's not bad could be worse I've done worse riding oh, what do we got here not an accident is it no just people pulled over on the side of the road riding in the rain oh here's a truck coming right towards me Jesus Christ I'm on the left side of the road I'm on the wrong side of the road ah. that's why it's coming straight towards me Woo! don't do that yep That'll do it. Thinking you're in New Zealand when you're in Vietnam. And uh, this weather's just going to get shittier and shittier. That's a problem when no one else is on the road. You can forget what the right side of the road is. Look at this weather. 75 minutes to destination. It's just going to get worse and worse. If it starts heaving down, I'm just going to have to pull over. I don't know what I'm going to do. If it stays light, I'm alright. Oh well. I don't call it adventure riding for nothing. This is the road to nowhere everyone. I have no idea where I'm going. Well I know where I'm going. I'm just going where the guy in the bike shop told me to go. He said it was a good alternative to the Haijang Loop. Look at that. And uh, anyway, it's not his fault that it's raining. It's still overcast, but the road is dry. And there seems to be a little bit more clarity in the immediate vicinity. So I've got another 30 odd k's to go. Still plenty of mist on the top of the hills or the range or whatever you want to call them but um, they're still overcast as anything no sign of the sun today either in the city or the countryside but the road is dry wow here's the sun first time today look at this little kid holding on to his mum on the back of the bike <laughs> no shoes his feet can't reach the foot pegs mum's got a helmet on but obviously there's no budget or they don't make them small enough for wee man on the back not far from my destination for the day destination unknown and been an interesting day of ups and downs. Just thought I'd uh, stop and have a look at the first sort of scenic lookout for the whole day. Even though I've been riding through hills and that sort of thing, there hasn't really been any scenic lookouts. But anyway, here's an interesting little outpost I thought I'd show you. You can see mountains in the background. The rice paddies below. Pretty rugged terrain. It's not a lot you can do with those mountains in behind and they're sort of short, sharp. That's what you think of when you think of typical Vietnamese countryside. And here we are, a few hours northwest of Hanoi. 
just about to hit destination unknown in the next 20 minutes. Bring it on. Here you go, transport Vietnam style. <laughs> That's one way to carry some plastic stools. Not the best way, but this is Vietnam. A lot of red flags down the main drag of this town. Not sure if it's a uh, national day or no, that's in September. So, not exactly sure what that signifies, but anywho, now where to stay? I guess we need to get off the bike and Google Hotel. There you go. Pizza Fucko. Who to think? Okay, finally made it to the middle of nowhere, which I think it's pronounced Nalo, and it is in the middle of nowhere. It's not really a tourist town. I've seen um, one couple here, so I got sent on a bit of a, a tiki tour, uh, but that's okay. It just means that I need to retrace my steps back. That's what happens in adventure traveling. The good news is that I found a, a lovely little hotel out on the edge of town. Just 20 New Zealand dollars a night and the room and bathroom are very nice. Check this out. So as you can see, nice and clean and modern. And only 20 New Zealand dollars a night. So woohoo. There you go, the Vietnamese mountainside. Okay, fundraising update for the IHC. The IHC is the organisation that looks after intellectually disabled people in New Zealand. We're currently at 9,818 New Zealand dollars, tantalizingly close to the 10 grand mark. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider donating to the IHC. You can find out more information at my website, twowheelstoeverywhere.com. You can find out more information on the IHC at ihc.org.nz. And if you would like to contribute, please go to my Give a Little page. All the links are in the description below. All the money goes directly to the IHC through the Give a Little page, so your donation benefits the intellectually disabled community directly. As usual, if you're enjoying these videos, please give them a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And if you'd like to support the channel, please share it and give me some feedback in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys and girls, and it helps me improve the channel for you. As always, ride safe, and see you on the road.